Hi folks, welcome to today's FMB lecture. Today we are talking about Define. So Define is one of the stage in design thinking. So of course, previously the lecture we talked about empathy, we talked about empathy map, we talked about extreme users. And with all these insights, we are going to unpack and after that frame out the problem. So in this particular lecture, I'm going to talk about, bring out a few key components. One of it is point of view. Another, we will talk about how my we statement. And through the various case study, quite a few food and beverage examples, hope to showcase to you how we and you can effectively use Define to put out and pinpoint the correct problems and so that in, in, in the process of coming up with a fantastic right solution for your users. It does not matter you came up with the best solutions if the problem is not aligned to the design challenge you will never be able to solve the thing, or it could be a very costly if affair. So with all this being said, let's dive into the subject proper. It all adds up, right? It all adds up. So in this particular define, based on the extreme user, we want to develop insights. We know the insights and we want to define the problems. So in, in design thinking, First, we find out who are the two extreme users. We want to empathize and get a lot of, a lot of like, say, quantity, qualitative feedback. And once we have that, we want to develop the problem. What problems are we going to solve? What problems are we going to solve? And how might we do certain things? So it's a how might we statement. So think of that. No, I do not know you all observe it, but just now from the few of your classmates, the point of view uh, is different. So they look at they're looking at the problems differently. And that's why in a group where it's quite diverse, you can have different point of view, which is very fantastic. These are the things that we encourage. In your in your group project, we are doing sustainability. So you, you either are very familiar with sustainability or you are not familiar with it. It depends on whether it's your, it's, 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 you are interested in it, right? And you have been reading and catching up on it. So I wouldn't say it's an easy topic. And uh, looking for extreme user of that particular, in a particular arena, it's not as easy as a bus ride. Uh, what we're going to do about food and beverage. I can even use the word very challenging. So you need to think about who are your extreme user and when you unpack your empathy findings so that you can actually have a, 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 a lot a better com more compelling needs and insights to frame out your point of view the pov that means you're able to frame out a meaningful problems so that you can actually ideate solutions for it and then go on to the prototype i do not want this to restrict but it's always there is a person, a user, and a need. So remember that. Now, as I mentioned, when we talk about defining, we are talking about the facts versus the point of view. Now, there are a lot of facts that's going out there. And uh, the bus is late, that's a fact. The bus takes a very long time, it's a fact. So, but what are we looking at? What are the things that we want to solve? What's the problem? You look at you look at Stacia, look at Yena, you look at Robbie. They're all different three point of view, three very distinct point of view. And the solution that comes out of it is going to be better. For example, so Robbie mentioned limited bus. So one of the ideation is, oh, let's buy more buses, right? But if you look at what Yena has mentioned about the traffic jam, even if I buy more buses, it does not help because the jam is still there. We, we can we solve the jam? Is it actionable? Can we go out there and tell, hey guys, you all don't come out because the car, the bus need to ply the road at this time. Can we do that? We can't do anything. So what are we going to do? So I just demonstrated to you, just in your class, two different point of view will attract a series of different ideation and uh, solutions. Now, this environment is like the red circle. If you take a look, a lot of things, but we usually look at that from one perspective one point of view. Now, I would just imagine Stacia will be looking at it one perspective, Vienna another perspective, and Robbie another perspective, all different. Same challenge, the bus is late, right? And the challenge that we're going to do, for example, food and beverage operators are not getting 
enough to go by that day. So what happened? So this is a, a, a white challenge. So what is the point of view? So this is defined. So take note of that. Now I'm just going to, I'm just going to, most some of you are really rich through. I'm just going to go in. I'll come back to Hagen Das later. Now imagine, imagine yourself, you're Henry Ford. You are in an era where there are a lot of horses. Okay. There's no motor, there's no, no, not, not any like motor vehicles is not common. And if you ask someone their point of view, so what how should we improve the transport? They will tell you, maybe get a faster horse, maybe get this, do the horse carriage in this manner and so on. They're not biased. They are basing it on their own experience. So point of view is usually based on their experience. So if you want to solve the problem, sometimes you need to think out of the box. That's something that we said before. And of course, when you unpack and you unpack the empathy, you need to see, you need to start out and think that, okay, would horses really solve this problem? Now that, that's something we need to think about. That's only possible where we have a lot enough extreme users with that. Let me just give you an example on Henry Ford. Nothing about it. It's going to be biased. If it depends on who you're asking and what you're asking for. So if you're asking about the time and so on, they will tell you, okay, well, it's uh, it's very troublesome. Uh, horses are down. All this, and, and then you're able to start. Like, okay, there's a lot of problems with the transportation. We need another transportation, and not you need another horse. So if you're asking the questions about, so what what do you think? Like uh, horses good for the or the more transportation right now, or they tell you a lot about horses. So depending on your problems, so so comes your solution. They know that, and that that is how important it is to frame your problem. Because if you frame your problems like Henry Ford, if you he he would have to frame a problem in a certain way, they will tell him that oh yeah, I I I mean we need better horse, we need faster horse, we need a bigger horse carriage, we need a wider road for blah blah blah. They will know. But if you ask them about the situation more specific, when you frame the problem, what is generally the problem about uh, transportation from point A to point B? Right? What are your grosses? Now you want to start out and let them let them unpack their thoughts, and then you know these are all the problems, and you 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 probably know okay horses cannot solve it. Of course, I don't delve too too much into it. But we're not going to do horses and and carriage, but I'm just trying to tell you this. Okay. So remember the bus. Remember the bus incident? Uh, I mean, the situation that we discussed about. Now, the Hagen Das is in your is in your in, in your LMS, so I'm not going to play the video. Uh, you can actually go and look at it. It's a very sweet video. Um, it, it, it was speaks to your age, like you know how how a lady is being uh, pampered by a guy. And of course, I think they are, they are, they are young adults and uh, it's, a, it's a proposal or something like that. But the important thing is, that is something from Hagen does. So you see, Hagen does sells ice cream. But in this particular point of view, the way they're looking at it, they're not, they not selling ice cream. They're they are, they are creating moments, moments that Individuals like that, the guy and the lady can come in and enjoy. Okay, that's very important. That's very, very important. Because Hagen does is very different from McDonald's, who was, that also have ice cream. Very, very different from Swenson that also sell ice cream. Right? So Swenson ice cream, of course, if you look at you, you take a peek sometime into Swenson, you see families or this, you will seldom see that in Hagen does. You will usually see couples, ladies. Now, interesting, another interesting fact is you will see ladies, or three, four ladies, of course, it used to be um, three, four ladies gathering in Hagen Dust, but you you seldom would see three, four gentlemen gathering in Hagen Dust, right? That's another thing about demographic and uh, the intent of each different groups. We'll touch on that um, in another lesson, but in this point of view of Hagen Dust, and if you watch this commercial, you will realize that this speaks nothing of the ice cream at all. They're selling ice cream, obviously, in the end, they earn money from the ice cream, but they're talking about how people can enjoy the moment 
in the album, creating magical moments. And uh, that speaks a lot more volume than um, just selling ice cream, right? And of course, the point of view, the POV of Swenson is very, very different. And of course, how McDonald's sells ice cream is really, really low. It's just want to attract you and they want to sell the burgers and fries. So it's very, very different. But take note of this POV, okay, of Hagen does. I'm just going to move. Hey, folks. Thanks for watching this video. We hope it has uh, value added to you in some ways. Now, do, do encourage us uh, if you like what we have produced so far, where we edit some of the lectures, some of the workshops. Do subscribe to us to be notified. And uh, upcoming when we edit and produce more such videos, you will get notified. We hope you will value add to you and help you in your business success, in your business strategy, and in getting more traffic, more user, more your business. Stay safe and look forward to seeing you in the next video.